Hi, uh, my name is Doug Kriz. I'm uh, one of the parents with the Rock Hill Band Booster Club. And coming up this weekend, we have our first competition uh, for the year, but also for Rock Hill High School. And so we wanted to make sure that everybody knew what to expect as we go into this competition so that we can do our best and so that we can enjoy it as much as we can. And there's also a few like etiquette things and a few pitfalls we want to make sure that people are avoiding uh, just so we can represent the band well and make sure everybody's just having a really, really great time. Hi everyone, I'm Lizzie. I'm a senior saxophone squad leader and I'm here to talk about some competitions since we will have our first competition. It's coming up very so uh, shortly. I'm super excited about competitions because um, it's the first time that we're really the center of attention. Um, at football games, we're kind of there just, you know, during halftime to break it up to be entertainment. But the people who are at competitions are there to watch us perform and to watch us um, perform what we've worked so hard on over the past few months. And then we also get to see other bands perform, which is really cool. A few things for band parents and family members to keep in mind is that you really want to try to make every effort to come and see these competition performances. They play at halftime shows all the time and those are great practice performances, but these are the all out. This is really, really when all of their hard work pays off. It means a lot to these kids if we can come there and watch them and support them as they really give it their all for these performances. And I'm here to tell you that it's also a lot of fun to see it all come together. So please come to these performances. Make an effort to wear you know, your, your Rock Hill stuff. This is the uh, show shirt for this year, Dreams of Icarus, available at Spiritwear Store near you. Shameless plug there. Um, also, it's kind of fun to go and find some other band parents to sit with. And so that's an easy way to make sure that you're sitting with some of your people. It's really a lot of fun. So competitions will probably be around uh, 10 hours, so it's a full day event. Um, it starts off with preliminary performances and then we'll move on and we'll do the finals. Um, our performance will only about be about 15 minutes, so if you want to come a little bit before we're scheduled to play, then you can watch a few bands perform um, before and after we play. So tickets can be purchased at the gate, seating is general admission, so spectators can come and go throughout the day, and you should bring money for tickets and concessions. Also keep in mind that the parking in these events is usually a little bit tough. There's a lot of people showing up, so be prepared to, to not slip in and slip out. You're gonna have to park a little ways away and you might have to walk a little bit. So a quick tip, um, during competitions, we're all in uniform and it is almost impossible to tell us apart. We all look the same, that's the point. So if you wanna come to a few of our rehearsals, then you can see where your kid is and then you will be able to say, hey, look, there's my kid on the 50 and then you'll know where they are. So these days are going to be really long. It's going to be early starts and late endings, so it might be a good idea for you all to carpool, um, and we will have pickup and drop off at the school. So most of the time, we, competitions do fall the day after games, and so that means that the stuff that we wore during the games is going to be dirty and gross. So unless you want to do laundry at midnight, I suggest that you get socks, shorts, and some extra dry wicks um, so you can wear clean stuff for the competitions. And extra dry wicks can be purchased through Charms. When you show up to these competitions, there's a few things you're gonna wish that you had on hand. The first, of course, is your, your show shirt. You wanna make sure that you're wearing that. Sometimes those stadium seats are terrible, so you might wanna bring one of those nice, cushy stadium seats. You might wanna bring a clear bag, so if they wanna check what's going on there, just like you would any other special uh, sporting event, you wanna have a clear bag to bring your stuff in. Also, especially in these early competitions, it is hot. And so you might want to have an umbrella to um, you know, block the sun while you're between shows. Also, maybe some sun blocks, some sunscreen. Also, maybe later in the season, depending on the forecast, it could get kind of cold. So a jacket or a sweatshirt or something like that, you might really, really be glad you had that. So just plan on the weather and plan on being outside. So one of the cool things about competitions is that they do sell a lot of merchandise. So if you want to send your kids with some money, they can buy some shirts, patches, whatever. It's really cool. A few things about etiquette of the parents during the show. It's really, really easy just to cheer and to clap at all the appropriate times, but sometimes people feel like everybody needs to hear them personally cheering for the band, or they really wanna yell out their kid's name as they're coming out onto the field. And I just need to make sure you hear this, is that it's really, really inappropriate and tacky to do that. All these other high schools are there from all over the state, and you start to know who the parents are and who the schools are that are just kind of rude and unruly. And we really don't want to represent Rock Hill this way. It's our first year. Let's make a great first impression. So let's remember to clap and cheer at the appropriate times. 
please do not bring cowbells or air horns. Please don't do that. Also refrain from yelling your kid's name out at weird times. It stands out. We really want to make sure that we're being respectful. One of the most important things at these competitions is to have really good etiquette. These bands have worked so hard, just as hard as us, so please look for the positive things, and if you have something negative, keep it to yourself. It doesn't need to be said. Especially because we are always wearing Rock Hill merch. Everybody knows who we are. We're repping our band, so please make a good impression. You don't know who's sitting behind you, in front of you, who can hear you. Um, we are making first impressions here. This is the first competition season that we've had, and so we really want to represent um, ourselves well. So another uh, common etiquette thing is to only enter and exit the stands when bands are transitioning. So you shouldn't be walking around trying to find a seat, talking to people while bands are playing. It's just uh, showing some respect for the people that are performing. Just a quick word on volunteering during these days. When we have to take 200 kids to another part of town or another part of the state, we need a good core of volunteers who are there to help make sure everything runs smoothly. So chaperones are still needed. And then also hospitality has got a really big job to make sure that these kids are fed and hydrated throughout the course of the day. And so if you have volunteered for these events in the past, or even if you haven't, if you haven't been able to volunteer during a football game because of a work schedule, this is a really, really great time to jump in and support the band, but you don't really feel like you're right in your kid's face. It's a good way to volunteer and support without really being, being too close. They have plenty of room to do their own thing. Another thing that I have to mention is that later in October, Prosper is going to be hosting two marching competitions back to back. And we are going to need literally every single volunteer that we can find in those events to run concessions, parking lot, ushering, tickets, runners. We are gonna have a lot of work to do and we are going to need your help to make those really successful events for Prosper ISD and, and for the Rock Hill Booster Club. So keep that in mind. So etiquette for the parents is important, but it's just as important for us students, especially since we're always representing Rock Hill. So it's really important that we show um, the best of us. So please be polite, cheer and clap for the bands, only say nice things. If you have a negative comment, keep it to yourself. It doesn't need to be said. These people have worked so hard. They've worked just as hard as us, so please show them respect. Um, if you see other band kids off the field, feel free to congratulate them, socialize with them um, if it's appropriate. And so even if you haven't seen them, just say, hey, you did awesome. It really, really means a lot to them. Okay, just a quick word about how these competitions work. Most of the competitions begin with a series of preliminary performances. And so every single band that's competing in a particular performance is going to come out and do their show, usually about once every 15 minutes. And so they're able to come on, set up, do their show, and get off, and then the next band comes out. And so things kind of progress pretty well along those lines. Most of the competitions have a preliminary section, and then there's a chunk at the end where they let everybody know who's winning, and then there is a section of finals. So the best bands from the preliminaries come back and perform for the finals uh, in the evening. That's usually the way it is for most competitions. That's the way it's gonna work at this first competition in Plano this weekend. So marching bands are judged on several categories. There's music, visual, and then content and design. Since fine arts performance judging is so subjective, sometimes judges' scores can vary widely. After we perform, directors receive detailed feedback from judges and all scores. Some of this may be shared with students and families. UIL judging is based more on musicality and technicality, while BOA focuses more on the creativity and the show itself. And finally, and hopefully this, this goes without saying, is that you know, these judges are going to provide feedback to the, to the band directors, and some of that feedback will go back to the students as well. But regardless of what kind of a rating we get as a band or how, whether we feel like that rating is right or wrong, it is entirely inappropriate for us to try to contact the judges or to make us stink about it or to complain. These kids are learning about how to do something that's very technical and very, very difficult, and they're going to get better and better and better at every time. All of that feedback is valuable, even if we don't agree with it. So please just try to be respectful and help these kids to get the best out of this experience. These competitions, again, it sounds like a lot, and I won't lie to you, it makes for a very, very long day, but when you kind of embrace it and get into it, you are going to have a lot of fun, and you're really gonna to start to see what this all means, the hard work that these kids have been putting into this show all year. So I would really, really encourage you to come to this, embrace it, have some fun, 
If you've got any questions, please try to direct those questions to members of our booster board. Lay off of the directors. They have got a lot of things to really juggle. Um, so don't ask them questions directly unless you really feel like it's something that only they can answer. I would just encourage you to come, be flexible, have some fun, meet some other people, and just come support our band. They've put a lot of work into this, and I can't wait to see the show. I hope to see you there. So one of the most important things at these competitions is to be respectful and to have good etiquette. Do not speak badly about other bands. Try to find the positive things in the bands. Um, these people have worked just as hard as we have. They've worked hundreds of hours in sweat and hot, hot rain. And you're just making stuff up. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Sometimes you just have burning rain. You still gotta march. <sighs> hot rain. Hot rain. <laughs> Boiling hot water from the skies. No umbrellas, it'll burn through it.